everybody. Thank you so much. I'm Alex Steele. I'm thrilled to have you here for episode four of the Alex Steele Show, where we're going to bring you live blacksmithing demonstrations every week, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and of course, 10 p.m. British Summer Time. I finally got that one right. Uh, today, we've got the forge going. It's hot. We're ready to go. Propane forge. Got a nice hot piece of steel, as you can see. And um, we're going to try and keep this one a little shorter than the last ones. We're going to be making a heart hook. So this project is going to involve splitting the material, uh, you know, forging out the tines, forging the crotch area, you know, punching your holes, uh, and of course drawing out the hook material, and hopefully doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of a rung scroll at the very end, which is always a lot of fun. I hope that uh, if you join me. Don't lurk. Don't be a lurker. Please leave your comments. Let us know how you're doing. Ask any questions happily. Interrupt me. Ask your questions. I'll stop. I'll answer. And, uh, and I'd be thrilled to know that you're here. Shoot a comment below. And of course, two more things before I, hit that, uh, when I, before I start hitting the piece of steel. Please do share this with your friends. I would sincerely appreciate it. Let's bring blacksmithing to as many people as possible. And I do want to let you know this t-shirt I'm wearing. Yeah, we got a couple of those. And, uh, and I want to give them to somebody. You know, it's just, just too much weight hanging around in the shop. You know, it's like weighing down the floor. Three t-shirts, pretty heavy. We've got to give them to somebody. And uh, so stick around, because we're going to be giving away t-shirts. And we're also going to be giving away some of these awesome stickers that Sam, Sam, wave to the camera. Woo! Hey, Sam, that Sam made up. So stay tuned. I got to hot piece of steel hot I'm gonna go ahead and throw a glove on real quick hey we got guys tuning in it is great to see you all hello old James great to see you from Alabama great to see you Daniel Mosler from Poland let's do this Woo. my voice is a little uh, a little a little uh, a little torn today so I've had a student here who's uh, come up from the south of England to do a tool making class and I often find that um, blacksmithing is either a here it is. Blacksmithing is like a toss-up between either losing your voice or losing your hearing. You lose your voice if you wear hearing protection, but you lose your hearing if, uh, if you don't. You know? I mean, one of them is obviously better than the other. Your voice heals. So this is a piece of um, half inch by quarter inch bar. So that would be 12 mil by, actually I think this one's 15 mil. I'd have to get a, a caliper on it. Uh, 12 or 15 mil by six millimeter thick bar. You can see I'm starting off very gently. I'd usually do this at a lower temperature so I can make the most of, my, uh, of, of the entire cycle of the temperatures and make the most of it. But you know, it's hot. It's been hanging around there as we, uh, as we get this set up for you guys. So we might as well do it now. You know, I'll often kind of recommend that people do lay out all their cuts, their punching, all that kind of stuff at the, uh, the lower temperatures for the very reason that you can see I came out of the fire like this. Uh, sorry, I came out of the fire with this yellow and it's now black and I still haven't done laying out my heat. So of course, like there's no point putting a piece of steel in the fire, letting it get that hot and using that heat to lay out. And of course, on a small piece of steel like this, it's not a big deal, but on a larger piece, you know, you get into the larger steel, you begin dealing with the fact that like that's a hugely incandescent, hugely radiant, it's got a lick from the fire, hugely radiant um, piece of steel and it's radiating a huge amount of heat and laying out you're often going to be getting a little bit closer to your material and uh, that can go ahead and you know start to singe you a little bit which uh, yeah I mean you know if you're, if you're down for that then go for it <laughs> but um, but I certainly quite like it when it's a little uh, little little cold it doesn't put as much radiant heat into the air what is going on YouTube Great to see you all. And Facebook, how are we all? Let's have a look. Right, my piece is hot. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, you know what, actually? In my haste, I forgot to put this piece of steel on the anvil, which you're about to see has its important use. That's just a little piece of mild steel. Um, I might generally do it with something a little longer. Oh, here we go. Just go ahead and use this. It has its use when chiseling to kind of help um, save both the chisel edge and the face of your anvil. So I'm going to go a little harder again, you know, stay pretty relaxed with this stuff. Try not to force my way through it. I got plenty of time in this heat. You know, make any adjustments to one side or the other if I need to. Okay, go a little more at the end. Fantastic. 
of course, running each cut to the point, to the peak of the radius in the former blow. Okay, almost bottoming it out. I don't quite want to bottom it out while it's on the anvil face. You know, it can often open up right there in the very, very tip. Now I'm going to come up here. Just a little mild steel block. This happens to be used for a tool that I use for kind of dimpling, dimpling sheet. Simply open it up. You can see how just those light blows are opening up that cut. And stay nice and relaxed with it all. And that's kind of the most important thing with blacksmithing. And there we go. So now we've opened up, opened up the cut. Next heat, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to make that a touch, touch wider so I can get in there with my anvil and start forging it. So I'm going to lay that in the vise and uh, we'll see how that's going. Let's go ahead and check in with you all on Facebook. What are you all doing? How are you? Where are you from? Uh, let's, let's, let's see how many countries we've got watching today. Let's see some questions. Sam, John would like to know what the, uh, what the tongs that you're using to hold the shoes in the video that we put up this week, uh, a day with a farrier. You know those tongs that you, you, you give them a light tap? They're called hot fit tongs. Hot fit tongs, John, that's what they're called. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, um, yeah, go ahead and make another tab in your browser and go onto my YouTube channel, which is Alex Steele. Uh, we made an awesome video with Sam. Hey, Sam, wave again. Woo! We made an awesome video with Sam, who's a farrier here in Norfolk. And uh, I followed him around for the day and got some cool shots. And I think it looks awesome, had some great feedback from it. And you can find that on YouTube. I think it's titled The Day with a Farrier. I uploaded it on Tuesday, something like that. And, uh, and that certainly was a very exciting, very exciting video to shoot. Okay, grab a chisel. Come back over here. You can see that you know, almost any time I'm really going to apply a lot of force on a piece, hitting it, I'm going to mount it horizontally in my vise uh, for the reason that there's a lot more kind of surface area, a lot more friction like that. You know, gently jet tap my way in. Okay. Nice and gently. Gonna put that back there. And now, ah, see there's a, just a hair of rag here. A little touch of rag in there. We can go ahead and hit that with a farrier's rasp. And just clean that up, ready for the next heat. Next heat, we're going to begin forging these out into points. And the interesting thing is we're going to be doing this on the diagonal, which is always very fun. And that's, you know, I mean, like this, this, this splitting technique is another thing that I kind of picked up from Brian Brazil. You forge it on the diagonal, it kind of means that you know, you've got a little less movement going on and you can do a hit turn, keep your heat in the bar, keep it nice and uh, nice and malleable, of course, and uh, it's nice. Adds another little bit of aesthetic, aesthetic detail, something that adds to the overall impressions of a piece when you make that, uh, that, that split on the diagonal. I quite like it, certainly. Trig Sharp is asking you, Sam, why do you burn the shoes onto the hoof? To get a perfect level, Trig. Guys, if you want to ask horseshoeing questions, next month we're going to get Sam in here and we're going to do the old, uh, the old Scottish switcheroo. There's no such thing as a Scottish switcheroo. I think that just sounds pretty cool. We're going to do the old uh, blacksmith switcheroo. He's going to come over to this side. We're probably actually just going to pull his truck up and he's going to do a little shoemaking demonstration. We're going to talk about what it's like to be a farrier and, uh, and you guys are going to be able to ask all the horseshoeing questions and we won't have to do this like back and forth thing that we're doing. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you've already answered him. There we go. <laughs> John Wayne, thank you so much for the comment. Awesome to have you. Jake Fab, I am thrilled to hear that you're currently building your shop. That is fantastic. It's always a very exciting moment when you start doing that. So, start just working the very tip of the steel. While that's hot, I want to go ahead and work it down to a point because you know, it's often difficult to quite get your pointy points to be pointy when it's a little colder. So I want to make the most of that temperature right there. And of course, I'm using the round die because you see if I miss, you see I'm just hitting the anvil. I'm not going to damage either the anvil or the workpiece. You know, you know I might have 
been able to do that a little faster and get a little further up my time. You know, I didn't, it's not a big deal. And again, throw that in with fire. Sam, thank you for the awesome video work. You're doing a great job. That just, that seems like people are gonna really enjoy that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tana Adams, great to see you from Tennessee. Awesome, fantastic. KCB from Washington, DC, thank you for being here. Elijah Thomas, thank you so, so much. KCB, yes, um, a couple of videos. I put a video out. Um, I've been putting a lot of YouTube videos out lately. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, um, you like, you know, I mean, I, you kind of should, because like there's like such beautiful forging content being posted um, for the past week every day. I'm gonna try and keep that up as much as possible. There'll be more on that, uh, more on that later on. But um, there was a video and like, a couple of days ago, it was the hottest day of the year or something like that, I got a call from the local newspaper um, where they were saying, you know, they were asking me if they could come and send some photographers down and take photos of a blacksmith because it's the hottest day of the year um, and like, you know, that's interesting I guess for the newspapers the next day. So they sent photographers down and of course, photographer journalists always do the exact same thing. Um, it's almost identical every single time you see a photograph of a blacksmith in the newspaper, no matter the newspaper, it's almost identical. They tell you to heat a piece of, piece of steel up and, uh, and do the old spark. Sparks shooting off the anvil face as you hit the steel. And of course, the best way to get sharp sparks to shoot off the anvil face is to throw a little bit of water in there. And it seems to be that like, you know, you create almost a, a, a vapor explosion as you hit your hot steel into the puddle of water. It creates a, an astonishingly loud bang um, and uh, shoots steel, you know, semi-molten steel at a quite an incredible velocity and it certainly makes for a fantastic photo and it's a great way to destroy a photographer's $2,000 lens. They're always extraordinarily appreciative. Travis asks how do we vent the workshop? How do we vent the workshop? Yeah, it's uh, we have one fan. That's kind of embarrassing, right? One fan. Like, that, that's, that's what it's like when you're here in the UK. Heat is relatively unusual. You know, it's temperate, whole year round. You know, you throw a, throw, a, throw a jumper and a jacket in your truck, and then, you know, make sure you've got a t-shirt on, and you can, you can be just fine all year round, which is, uh, which is great. And, um, however, like, you know, coolers and getting ice, that isn't a thing here. You know, whenever I visited the States, you know, like, you know, okay, you wake up, first thing you do, you go get a bag of ice. Nobody does that here. And you fill up the cooler with ice, and you fill up the cooler with, um, it depends who you hang around, either beer or water. <laughs> uh, but of course, here in the UK, there's no provisions, really, for the kind of hot temperatures. But people just suffer um, and moan and complain. <clears throat> Me. Certainly, you know, you'd be hard-pressed to find any homes with air conditioning here. Spin side to side on the diagonal. A little bend in there. You know, if it was any cooler, I might not do that. Now, you know, you can see we're working from time to time. Time to time. Each one kind of, you know, just so we can help kind of create an equilibrium. Hey, Jamie, great to see you. Any more questions coming in, Sam? I'm, I'm so sorry, with the forge I couldn't hear you. In stock, uh, certainly not for a while, sadly. 
Uh, sadly, I'm not going to have Hockett Hardy's or other top tools in stock for a while. Um, I'm kind of sadly, well, sadly, it's, it's, it's hugely exciting, but extremely busy, busy with classes um, and, and, and making videos and online courses. And so I haven't I've scheduled a little, uh, I've scheduled a week to produce hammers for the pre orders. You can pre order hammers at blacksmithingtools.co.uk. I scheduled a week to do those. If I can fit in hot cuts, I will, and I'll let you guys know about that. Just depends, you know. Got a lot of work cut out in that week, and uh, and that's very exciting. Lewis Digby, an amateur smith in Chroma. Lewis, if you're in Chroma, come up, come up to the workshop sometime. Say hello, introduce yourself. I'd love to, love to meet you. Amateur smith in Norfolk. Let's, yeah. I mean, that come around and say hello. Sorry. That makes oh, thank you. Okay, let's get in here again. Okay, tweak that up. Okay. On to the next bit. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Get a little more heat there first. Okay. Hey Matt Eichen, I'm thrilled that you're liking the new YouTube videos. That's awesome, that makes me really pleased to hear. Um, that's, that's what I want to hear, that's what I want to hear. Putting a lot of effort into producing good content for you guys. Uh, again, if you're on Facebook, you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, what are you doing? Like, come on now. Some cool stuff going on. So I just want to close these up a little bit so it's easier for me to do the whole in and out of the fire thing. Okay. Ah, you know, use that temperature to lay out my hole. Any more classes on the way? Courses? Online Any more courses? Online courses? Absolutely. We have an online course with Brian Brazil that's just finishing being done. Just got to do a little more editing, upload it um, to my uh, to my online school um, privately. Then you know, run through all the stuff, make sure it's all uh, all nice and crisp. Make sure there aren't any flaws in the uh, in the editing or the uh, or the exporting that kind of stuff. Then once I, you know, produce the other materials for it, that's going to be live. And Brian's course, uh, we're probably looking to have that live at some point next week. I've scheduled the day to do some more work on that on Tuesday, I believe. So Tuesday, I'm going to be kind of cracking on with that. Um, before I have another class start on Wednesday, I believe. Um, I say I believe because my head doesn't do the calendar very well. That's why I have a big piece of paper with all the dates on it. <laughs> oh, Matt, what are we going to do with, uh, in Brian's course? Like, in, why am I talking about it and not letting you guys know? Um, in Brian's course, we're doing some pretty cool techniques of his such as his like scrolling and coloring technique, his forge welded bundle technique, you know, these kind of things. Um, what else is in there? There's plenty of other stuff, you know, different scrolls that you can experiment with, you know, how he uses jigs with the scrolls. My brain is, I, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't think quite now, um, back through what there is. He makes a beautiful wall sconce, you know, that needs to be hotter. He makes a beautiful wall sconce in one of the uh, one of the tutorials, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with Brian Brazil's hummingbird design, but like it is just astonishing, astonishing, astonishingly beautiful. Um, and one of those is going to be in the online course. It's pretty good. You know, not quite sure how many hours there is going to be right now, as I'm just kind of finishing up the edit. But um, probably between two and three. The shirt. The shirt. The shirt. The shirt. Sorry. Share for the shirt. Share for the shirts. Share for the shirts. So guys, if you are watching and you're enjoying it and you haven't shared it with your friends, firstly, like, come on, I mean, you know, you could, you could do me a solid and do it. Like, that, that'd be pretty cool. Secondly, I have another reason for why you should share it. We've got some cool stuff. Like, we've got these cool t-shirts made. Um, I hope you like them. I do. I'm really pleased with them. Uh, we've got these cool t-shirts made. We've got these cool stickers made. And 
Oh my goodness, that's way too far over. That was so badly planned. <laughs> and I've got a pile of shirts right here, which, you know, just, you know, in the interest of adding a little value, have been dirtied here in the forge. Not too much. Pile of these shirts, three to be exact. These are brand spanking new. Picked them up from the printers yesterday at lunchtime, quickly ran around the corner and got them. And we're going to be giving those three away on one condition. So, the one condition is, guys, we've got to get a total of 50 shares on the Facebook live stream. We can do that. I know we can. How many people are watching right now, Sam? 61 on Facebook. How many on YouTube? 50? Okay, now, if only half of you on Facebook and half of you on YouTube all went to the Facebook stream and shared it, we'd be giving away some t-shirts and stickers. I paid the shipping. You get the t-shirt and a sticker. All you got to do is share the stream. If there are any places, like blacksmithing groups, that you think would enjoy seeing this, I have a piece of wood somewhere, that would enjoy seeing this, ah, please share it with them. I want to yeah, really try and help share this stuff with as many people as possible, and your help in Sharing these streams is going to allow that to happen. So please, go ahead and share it. Let's get to 50. 50. It's going to be the biggest one, the most momentous one yet. As we're on episode number four to celebrate, let's get 50 shares and I'm going to give you these new t-shirts. What? Do you want to show them that? Okay, guys, hang on a second. We're going to... I, I want to show you something really cool. If you only just joined, you didn't see the intro. Well, Sam arrived a couple of hours ago. And he, and, he, and, he, and he bought himself a new toy. Um, I think we should show you what the new toy did. So we're just gonna run this intro. It's a 41 second intro. We're gonna be right back and we'll cut right back to me forging. So in 41 seconds, you'll have seen the most awesome intro you'll see in your entire life. And we'll be able to get, get, get back to the forging. So uh, let's, let's do it, Sam. This is awesome. How did you guys like that? Let us know in the comments below. Really, let me know. Let me know. And guys, don't be lurkers. Let's, let's, we don't want lurkers. We want, we want people uh, interacting with each other, I think, because that's always a, a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. Got these holes done. I'm going to heat that again and start tapering that bad boy out. Probably going to get a little warm, though. Yeah, don't lurk, guys. Let us know you're here. Let us know where you're from. Let us know your questions. My goodness, so far down the comments I gotta go. Thank you, Dustin, I'm thrilled you think that's a great intro. Elijah, thank you so much. Joel, awesome. Gregory, thank you so much for sharing. Let's make this happen, guys, let's make this happen. Dustin, I, so I, I do eventually wanna kinda make some fun t-shirts. Um, you know, if you guys pick up on some things that I say or somebody comments something that's kind of hilarious, let us know and I, I, we want to try and get that done on t-shirts. Dustin, one of the things that, um, that happened on the first live stream, somebody commented, less yak yak, more whack whack. Dustin, yeah. Less wacky wacky, more yak, well, less yaki yaki, more wacky wacky as a t-shirt, I think. Either one of those would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, a little more heat. Hug that through there. One of those would be awesome. Who would, uh, could be interested in either winning or uh, or buying a t-shirt that said less yak yak more whack whack with a cool freaking cool one of these square circle hammers hitting an anvil throwing sparks everywhere could be interested in winning or buying one of those trig thank you so much i'm pleased that you're sorting your courier i'm going to be giving uh, trig sharp a young blacksmith here in the uk i'm going to be giving him one of my forges you know like i'm relatively relatively kind of um cramped, so to speak, which you can't quite see, but like that camera's at the 
complete tight end of, <laughs> of, 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 the, of the workshop width. You guys probably saw a little bit of the outside on the intro. Pretty small here, and I got a couple of forges that I'm not using, Coke forges, really having very, uh, very little need for them. And Trig, uh, Trig seems like he needs it, so he's gonna get himself a Coke forge. We do have three t-shirts for sale. That is absolutely correct. We have three t-shirts for sale. Like, if, you know, if, you're, if you really, really, really want a t-shirt and you don't want to, like, you know, risk not getting this because obviously, you know, it's a giveaway, it's random, we do have three for sale and they are at blacksmithingtools.co.uk. Now, my plan is to do a lot of these kind of limited runs of t-shirts. You know, play with some fun designs. This is fun, guys. I, I always love doing these live streams. Scotty Reese, I'm thrilled that you are watching and sharing all the way from New Zealand. Amazing. Just amazing. You know, I, I, I'm const constantly astounded of, of the technology that we have available to us. You know, when I look at my, uh, my Wi-Fi box here in the workshop, you know, and I look at the cable that connects it to the wall, and I look at the cable that's strung up to the telephone pole outside the workshop, and I'm thinking to myself, how on earth? I mean, what, how, what an incredible day to live, where that tiny, 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 you know, I mean, like the, the cable with the plastic, it's like 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. How that is able to pass all this information and all, this, all these wonderful experiences to so many people. Like, what a great day to live. It is great, great, great to have you all here. Clark Martinic, thrilled to see you. Thrilled to see you. Had a great fun meeting you at Abana 2012. Awesome guys, great, great, great to have you here. I'm still waiting for these guys to sponsor me. I have like one a week on these things. Because I should mention, like right now it's what? 10.40 uh, p.m. So I've been working from 9 a.m. And last night I stopped working at 2.30 a.m. after working from 9 a.m. You know, we work hard here. We get stuff done. Been teaching a class and uh, yeah, I need a little, little caffeine boost when I start these things. Pretty hot actually. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get cool that off. Sweet. Brilliant guys. Any more questions? What's going here? Travis, I'm thrilled that your daughter liked the music that we had on the intro. That's great. I I, I liked it too. I was um we, we, we quickly edited that together, kind of like, <laughs> that's why we were late, kind of in the last few minutes there. And you know, I'm flicking through the music that we can, we can play for that intro. And I click on that one and Sam just is like, yes, let's do this. That's the one, that's the one, you know, gets your foot stomping, out. <laughs> what am I doing with the tongs? So, who has been enjoying the YouTube videos this week? I want to hear your thoughts, I want to hear how you're enjoying them, and I also want to hear if you want to keep seeing more videos like that. Let me know, let me know. Sam, can you keep me up to date with what they say about that? Don't 
don't forget guys, if you wanna win t-shirts, you guys gotta have a group effort here. It's gonna be a group effort. We need to reach 50 shares on the live stream. Don't let me down guys, don't let me down. 50 shares on the live stream. I gotta get rid of these t-shirts. 50 shares, that's what we gotta do. There's that many of you watching. Let's share it, let's share it in the, all the blacksmithing groups you can think of. Let's let everybody see the fun that we are having today. Did I also mention we got stickers to give away, guys? Look at all these stickers. They're awesome. Stickers, thanks goes to Sam. He made them. How cool is that? So go ahead and share the stream. Share the stream to your, uh, to your favorite blacksmithing Facebook groups. Of course, that applies, you know, if you guys are on Facebook. If you guys are on YouTube, in the description to the video, in the description to the video, there's a link to the Facebook page. Just go ahead and hit that. It should open up in another tab. Then you can go share the screen, share the stream. And guys, if you share the stream and you still want to win a t-shirt, in the comment section, please write your t-shirt size. 42, oh my goodness, 42 shares, yes, yes. Yeah, if you've shared the video, guys, comment your t-shirt size in the, uh, in the comments. This is fantastic, guys. Love you all, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, wrong tool. Found it. So what are they saying about the videos? Not a lot. Nobody said anything about the videos. Well, yeah, they have been saying stuff about the video. Nick Flaherty just left an awesome comment. Thank you so much. The videos were great. It was a lot of fun seeing the various things you come up with. Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate that. That right there. Take this down. Awesome comment. Um, you want to build a gas forge? Any tips? Um, don't point the flame straight at your workpiece. It's going to ox over oxidize it. It's also going to create hot spots. You know, you want to have some sort of uh, of rounded area in the forge so you can shoot the flame and it will come around and create that turbulence. It creates a much more even heat in the forge. I highly, highly recommend that in a gas forge. Um, in terms of building one, you know, like these days, these days. <laughs> It is just so easy to buy a gas forge, so inexpensive. Um, considering, I don't know what it's like in other countries here in the UK, only way I can get you know, ceramic wool for insulation is by buying a big roll. If one is money conscious, you know, you might as well just buy one. Big roll of ceramic, you know, 120 quid, and, uh, and, and then what happens, you've got a big old box lying around, you know. I certainly haven't used them before, I don't know, but if you're in the UK or or wherever, you know, there you can find gas forges on eBay new for like 250 pounds. Never use them, haven't got a clue how they work. But if you want like a little introduction into using a gas forge, introduction to, to black something, take you along the next next step in the road, you know, certainly not a terrible um, terrible idea to just, just buy that, you know, it's not necessarily the, uh, no, it's, it's not enormous, enormous amounts of uh, money to invest in something that's gonna work straight away. You know, because sadly it's very easy to make something and then not have it really kind of work the way you want it to work. You know, if you do make a gas forge, buy the burner. I mean, it's so much simpler, buy the burner. Like, and I think I've, 
most I'd paid for a burner has been like $100. You know, extraordinarily inexpensive. You know, buy the burner, that way you don't have to deal with it. You know it's gonna work, then all you gotta do is insulate it. You know, here these are just hard bricks. You know, you use your hard bricks, you can make pretty good forge just with a pile of bricks. Um, I've done that before if I wanted to kind of heat odd shaped things, make a pile of hard bricks. It makes a pretty serviceable forge just right there. But um, it certainly doesn't quite have the permanence. Okay, let's show you guys this. This is like one of my favorite techniques. This little rung scroll here. <laughs> Making a little rhythm there. Nice. Let's go ahead and forge the hook. So hey guys, if, uh, how many shares are we at, Sam? I'm so sorry, I didn't hear you. It says 41 on Facebook, I think there's more than that. Ooh, let's hope. 100 people watching on Facebook. Guys, you rock, thank you so much. Right, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and forge this, uh, this hook, give it a wire brush. Nice thing about this rung scroll, again, another thing I picked up from Brown Brazil, is um, you don't need to cool off that hook when you're, that, 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 that tip when you're forging that hook. So I would also, guys, I would love to hear your suggestions as to, uh, to what to make next week. Always love being inspired by you guys, especially considering, you know, it's not just one video coming out next week, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to see how it goes. It's a lot of work, but my plan is to try for seven videos produced for you guys every single week, which is quite exciting. You know, obviously that's all, you know, you guys got to keep watching, got to keep enjoying it. You know, if you don't, then, uh, then that's just a shame but I'd love to keep producing as much content for you guys as possible. So the more suggestions as to what to make, as to what you'd like to see, the better, because the more I can, I can provide for you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna see how square that is. I like it. Let's give you a little view with that right there. There's a little hook portion, which is nice and fun. Okay, let's throw that back in the fire the other way around, forge a little more of the times, and, uh, and make them into the shape we need. So, Ryan asks, uh, have you put some dirt on your new nailing on hammer? Apart from the dirt that's settled just by it being in the forge unhandled, no. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we still haven't put a handle on, on Sam's nailing on hammer. What's that, like three weeks? I'm a terrible friend. I'm an, I'm an appalling, appalling friend. It looks nice though. <laughs> Right, right, right. So. Ah, uh, these tongs aren't quite cutting it. Let's see, if, see what I can do there. And of course, because these tines have been in the fire there for a little while. They're a little oxidized, so once I go ahead and, you know, open them up, up blah, 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 blah. My voice is really fried. <laughs> talking over, talking over hammer blows and, and stuff like that today in this class has made it a little difficult for me to speak. I apologize for that. <laughs> but yeah, opening up those tines a little bit so I can get back in there and reforge them. You know, like, a, 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 can help get a nice clean surface on them you know, brush them, and then forge it back down, close up the pores, that kind of stuff. Guys, it is great, great, great to hear your awesome comments. Hey, you guys, I, I haven't really talked about the stickers enough. If you want a sticker, 
please label your comment, like in the comment, first thing I want you to do, write sticker, and then write what you want me to make next week in either the live show or in the daily YouTube videos. Go ahead and comment what you want me to make after writing the word sticker. Sticker, then what you want to make. And that will enter you to win a sticker. I think I've got like 10 stickers to give away. So like, you know, somebody's definitely gonna win a freaking sticker. You know, that's not gonna be difficult at all. Guys, what awesome fun have you here? Okay, got those cleaned up a little bit. Go ahead and uh, begin forming. Oh, drop the brick. It's the end of the world, everybody. Good job, my gasoline can was like just right over there. Right, more comments, what's going on? Let's go ahead and see if we can turn that a little bit. So we can come over to hill. You guys can understand, right? Come over to here to the horn. Come over here to the horn and begin kind of curling that round. A little heart shape. What fun. I like this delicate work. Boys have changed from making tools all day. How close is my fire extinguisher? It's like right there. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like Sam, Sam, fire extinguisher is like kerosene, right? Okay, good, kerosene. <laughs> Thank God I got my kerosene up there. Oh, got a little funky on me. Come on. What size punch did I use? So I used a large ball punch, um, like maybe a 5 8 inch round ball punch. And I forged down until I was almost at the very bottom. Then I took a 6 mil, a quarter inch, flat bottom round punch. Oh my goodness. I keep messing these things up on the forge, you know? I'm going to open these forge doors up and do this completely open. You can see what's happened here is as I've um, as I've gone ahead and been putting this in and out of the forge, I messed up messed up that side of the heart that was all nice and finished. So hey, you know that's what I get for a little good, a little bit of carelessness. Let's see if I can do that a little more gently this time. I'm also going to go ahead and turn down the forge since those times are quite delicate at this stage. heart shape coming along nicely. A few more kind of tweaks to be made. Nice, thin, slender tapers. That's what I want to see. Try not to burn them. <laughs> Guys, I just want to give a shout out to Matt Eichen. He made an awesome comment that certainly got my attention the other day. On the, on the announcement that we're about to go live in a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> Matt, that was an awesome comment. I really appreciated it. It's great 
to have you here. Guys, it's great to have all of you here. Again, like if you guys are just watching and you haven't let us know you're here, you haven't let us know where you're from, and you haven't entered the giveaway by sharing the feed and then letting us know your t-shirt size, and um, you haven't entered the sticker giveaway, by commenting, after writing sticker, commenting what you want me to see next week. If you haven't done that stuff, do it, guys. You know, introduce yourself, let us know where you're from. Let's, let's, uh, let's not be strangers, guys. Guys, this is fun. Okay. Got a little bit of scale to pop off. these holes again. And then of course, wouldn't be complete without the touch mark. There we go. A little bit of straightening. Flip her around. Have a look from it up top, see how square we are. Let's see how we're doing on YouTube, guys. How are you all on YouTube? Wow, 57 of you guys watching now. This is fantastic. Joseph Burton, I'm thrilled that the t-shirt arrived the other day. He's one of the gentlemen that won a t-shirt um, in our first live stream where we're giving away t-shirts. That arrived the other day, awesome. Yes, I'm pleased. Royal Mail, you've done it. Martin Smith, you live in Norfolk and you'd really like to come see me? Yeah, do it anytime. Like, shoot me a uh, text message or something. You know, say who you are and uh, yeah, I mean, you're welcome anytime, absolutely. No, I'm always welcome. Local people come and saying, hey, you know, just arrange a day, day and a time. I'd love to do that. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and throw a little finish on there, shall we? Sorry? Film it a little bit on the phone? Yeah, let's film it a little bit on the phone. Woo! Shall I show you guys a little bit of what? You know what, actually, I'm gonna do that after I apply the finish. Let's see if I can get in there with this. Oh, my oily rag's a little unoily. Is it oily enough to do this? A little more heat. Sam, can you do me a huge favor? Um, in the workshop somewhere over there, like near that red propane tank, there should be an oil can. Can of oil. Oh no, maybe on the TV tray too. Yes, look at that t-shirt. He was the first winner of a t-shirt. Sorry guys, we had that competition where you guys weren't here. They're pretty tough, on, right Sam? The odds to win. Have you found it? A can. Cool. Huh, maybe we can't find, oh, right there by the drill press. I think. <laughs> Thank you, is that it? Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, I, <laughs> I go and get it, but I'm like tied in. We've got electrical. <laughs> tied into my mic there, I can't really do that. Okay, let's go right there. So this is just vegetable oil and a cotton rag. And the rag's a little dirtier than I'd like. And at this high temperature, you know, it generally applies a pretty nice thick, thick finish. Yeah. Ah, high temperature, not really. I mean, high temperature for touching, not for forging, certainly. I mean, it's like a black heat. Maybe 500 degrees Celsius. Get it a little more toasty. Oil, is it? Sorry, vegetable oil. Thank you, Sam.
we have 50 shares on Facebook? Okay, do we have 50 shares on Facebook, guys? Let's have a look. Let me refresh this page on the computer. Give this a little clean. Oh, wow. That is extraordinarily sharp. <laughs> I've just uh, I've just stabbed my finger on live on the live stream. <laughs> Luckily that's meant to go on a wall, not uh, not in somebody's finger. 62 shares. Sam, high five. We've done it. Woohoo! Everybody, here's the high five that I'm gonna give you. Woo! Okay. I'm not gonna hit my camera. Thank you guys for 62 shares. That is an incredible milestone. Next week, we're gonna make it 100. You know, I like setting my goals high. Let's do 100 next week. I owe you guys some t-shirts. First, shall I, uh... I'm putting t-shirts for next week. We owe you... <laughs> we're rats. Well, you know, you guys, you, you don't need t-shirts to share the stream, right? You'll do it out of the goodness of your own heart next week, maybe. Maybe. We'll get some. We'll get some. And we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can give you guys something next week if we get 100 shares. Or maybe we'll just do it like the week after or something, you know. Whack, Let them know yak, we've got yak. some teaching. Sorry? Whack, whack, yak, yak. Yeah, less yak, yak, more whack, whack, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, here's the... Uh, I, I got a little bit of credit that i got to clean out. Okay. Where's a little something or other? I can't maybe get in there with a great way to treat your knife. Okay, 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 okay. So guys, if you've entered the giveaway and I call out your name saying that you have won, here is the condition. Because <laughs> otherwise you won't get your t-shirt. You guys, if I, if I call your name and you win and you got a t-shirt, the first thing you should write in the Facebook message to my page to the page that you're watching this on, is you should write T-shirt winner. Then underneath that, please write your name, the T-shirt size, your shipping address, email address, and a contact telephone number. Like that makes it super easy for me to go ahead and package that stuff up and ship it to you. And I'll just save a little bit of time while I'm doing that so I can focus more on creating some fun videos for you guys. Okay, boom. One there. I dropped it. <laughs> Did you get that, Sam? Yeah. Great, it's all dirty now. <laughs> you know, can't all win. Back we go. Ta-da! There's the finished hook. Let's... Let's go ahead and get you guys some t-shirts. Let me have a look through your comments. What t-shirt size do you have? You're in a small one. Yeah, I am. They run a little large, the t-shirts, just to let you guys know. Who's bought one on the website, by the way? Anybody bought one on the website? There are three on the website. If you don't win, you know, I'm just saying. Three on the website. Very. I could run over here to get them. Okay. So, what t-shirts do we have? Okay, we got like here, like this. You know, these are special edition, like limited edition specials. This one here. Whoever gets this is a lucky man or woman because. There aren't many navy forged steel t-shirts in the world. Might I add, there is in fact only one, and that is because the printing company messed up their order and didn't get enough black t-shirts. <laughs> so, Facebook, where are you? Facebook. Okay, first. Large I saw, summer rose. That's your t-shirt. Send me a message. Remember, t-shirt winner, your name, t-shirt size, address, phone number, email address. What else do we have? 
Oh, we got a size small. Anybody have a size small? Come on now, come on now. Trig sharp. You know, that's lucky, right? Because I can just put this in the forge when you, when, I'm, I'm, for context, if you just joined Trig Shop, Young Blacksmith here in the UK, you know, he's, uh, he's on my, uh, my scholarship program for Young Blacksmiths where I give them the online courses. And, you know, I'm, I just shot a message out there to those guys. I'm like, hey, anybody in the UK need a forge? Because I've got like two that are taking up a lot of space. I'd rather they get used by somebody. Um, that applies, you know, any other Young Blacksmiths listening that want to forge. Uh, I've got a big side blast forge here in Norwich that I don't need and I would be quite happy to give it to a young blacksmith who, you know, wants to make some stuff and wants to really get a good kind of head start. Nice big side blast forge. Um, you know, I only need one coke forge here just for the rare occasion. So Trig, this is yours. I'm gonna like put this with, with your, your forge now because it's not your forge now. So I don't forget when, uh, when they come and pick up your forge. Awesome. Okay, what is the next one? Okay, 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 okay. Then we're gonna do stickers. Actually, I want to build up the anticipation a little bit. Let's do some stickers now. Let's see who wants black, red, black, red, and blue. Sam, awesome job on the stickers, man. Like, these are awesome. Awesome. Awesomely, fantastically awesome. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not seeing these sticker messages. Okay, a bit further up, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, okay, where's, where's, who's got stickers? I'm, 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 I'm losing it. I, I can't see them. Three people asking for black ones, black ones. You guys, you gotta give the advice though. I mean, I, I probably should have asked about stickers a little earlier. Okay, Daniel Pierce, great suggestion of a horseshoe heart. You're getting a sticker. The way that we do stickers, guys, you write sticker winner. You write the color you want. Actually, no, don't, because I've got to do it randomly. So you're going to get whatever color you get. Sorry, you're getting a free sticker there. So write sticker winner, your name, your address, contact telephone, email address. Write that in a Facebook message to my page. This is the page. Somebody else. We've got to find a really fast way to do this. Okay. Oh, no, there's no, there's no suggestion there. Come on now, stickers. God. We've got to streamline this. Can you help me find just some stickers? Let me know when you find a sticker person. Just flick through. I'm trying to. And just choose someone. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I can't find them. Just choose someone. I'm, I'm Don't worry about the stickers. Oh, they've got to do the suggestion, man. Like, oh, great. I, some, somebody, I lost it. We've lost it. Oh, no. Okay, Justin Harris, send me a Facebook message. You're winning a sticker for suggesting a horsehead bottle opener. Awesome. Thank you so much. Can you find any other people, stickers, with a suggestion? Evan Griffith, hand-forged hacksaw. Hand-forged hacksaw. Great suggestion, Evan. I'm giving you a sticker, dude. Great to see you. Great to have you here. Matt, I'm giving you a sticker, Matt Eichen. Thank you so much for being here. I'm thrilled that you seem to enjoy this. Luke Parfit, you're getting a sticker. Send me that Facebook message to the, uh, the page that you're watching this on. Here we go, Brian Pellerin. You're getting a sticker. Send me the Facebook message, sticker winner. Name, address, contact telephone number, email address. Jason Phillips, shelf bracket. Jason Phillips, send me that, send me that Facebook message, dude. You're getting yourself a sticker. Two more, come on, let's, let's, let's. These better be good suggestions too, guys. Dustin, I want to give you a sticker. Dustin, you're getting a sticker for suggesting a door handle or latch. Hardy Holtles Live. To Vincent Samperi. Vincent Stamperi? Samperi. Samperi, you're getting a sticker. Remember guys, if you want something, you know, won the t-shirt. Oh, you know what? We got another t-shirt to give away. Should we give away a t-shirt? Let's give somebody a t-shirt. Got to make sure we got their size. We got to find what size we need to find. Okay, we need to find size medium. Who's got a size medium? Let's find a size medium. Okay. Can I get the bottom? Okay. 
I don't see any mediums. Does he have a medium? He says he's a medium. Lewis Digby, you better not be lying. You better not be a small trying to trying to fit into a medium. That'll look funky. You better not be a 2XL trying to fit into a medium. Like, uh-uh. Nope. No, thank you. Only I can pull that off. Yeah, only Sam can pull that off. You know, he's got... <laughs> he's got what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't be mean. <laughs> if you, my friend, are a size medium, you just want yourself a t-shirt. And I'm going to ship you off a t-shirt. And it's a freaking awesome t-shirt. And everybody else who wants a t-shirt, you're going to have to wait a little while. It depends on how good my t-shirt printers are. But I'm going to get some more t-shirts. Oh, wait, hang on a second. What am I talking about? If you want a t-shirt, blacksmithingtools.co.uk, you can find your t-shirt. If you want to learn blacksmithing online, beginblacksmithing.com is where you're going, to be able to, you're going to be able to do that. And if you want to see daily freaking awesome YouTube videos, where are you going to go for that, Sam? YouTube. Yeah, got it in one. You know, again, follow me on Instagram, I don't know, Alex Steele Blacksmith. Follow me on YouTube. Like that's like that's the place to be right now. Like on that YouTube channel, you're gonna see the sickest content. Oh my goodness, I just said sickest. That is so that is so hilarious. Sickest. <laughs> it's gonna be rad. You're gonna see the coolest content there is. So subscribe to me on YouTube. Remember guys, we're gonna be back here next week at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. here in the United Kingdom after a wonderfully long day's extraordinarily enjoyable work. Got a great student here, making great progress. We're doing a whole awesome amount of learning. I'm, I'm thrilled as to how this class is going. I'm thrilled as to how you guys are gonna enjoy the daily YouTube videos that I'm gonna be putting out next week. Guys, let's give Sam a huge thank you. Wave to the camera. Thank you, Sam, for all your help, for help making this awesome introduction. Guys, it has been a true honor to be here. It's been a true honor to, to have as many eyes on blacksmithing. And I presume this time we've had more eyes than ever. Thank you so much. I really can't wait to see you next week. Remember, every single day next week, you're going to see an awesome YouTube video. Remember that now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's freaking cool. It's freaking cool. We can have some fun stuff to give away next week. We'll find something, won't we, Sam? Oh, yeah. Until then. Hang on, I'll go get that. You're almost ready? Yes, give them a show of that. Oh, wow, what fun. Until then, of course, I want to remind you, beginblacksmithing.com to learn blacksmithing online. Sincerely appreciate it. You can use coupon code LIVE20, L-I-V-E 20, for 20% off any course that I have made. I think you should um, mm -mm, do it, yeah? If you want to buy tools, pre-order hammers, go ahead to blacksmithingtools.co.uk. And if you really like this t-shirt, and I, I'm sorry if you didn't win. I, I truly am. You know, I get it. This t-shirt's awesome. We've got three. What is it? Small, medium, large? Small, medium, and large at blacksmithingtools.co.uk. We don't. One large, two medium. One large, two mediums. No. One medium, two large? No idea. Okay, well, we got, we got some t-shirts, you'll see. BlacksmithingTools.co.uk on the front page. Click that link, it'll go to the t-shirt page yeah, if you want them. People that want them will run an order. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we'll, we'll run an order, and we're going to be making more t-shirts, more designs. Guys, like, it makes me sad to leave. I really don't. I want to light the forge up and do another thing. But I'm going to see you next week. Have a lovely day. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Keep following what we're up to, because we love sharing it with you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye, my name is Alex Steele. It's been a pleasure.